Normally, at the end of each river, there is a delta as a final chapter before its death by flowing into the ocean. But what if the delta was the end itself, so the river would die on the mainland and could be properly buried? What if the river morphed into a large field of flowers? Some kind of flowers that need a lot of water to live. Thirsty flowers. One string of water morphing into one flower. The bigger the river, the larger the field of flowers. To further explore this concept, I decided to conduct a little demonstration. Here you see me preparing the map for the experiment. It may look like I'm painting a painting, but really I'm painting a map for the landscape. I begin by sculpting the hills and mapping out the flow of the river, mountains and vegetation. Now comes the river and the outline of the white flower delta. Adding some texture, some plants, flora, more flowers, and the map is done. Then I took it outside, scratched my leg, got attacked by a predator, covered the map with vegetation, and the experiment was ready to roll. Maybe it's too much, but to even further explore this idea, I opened up Unreal Engine 5 and decided to build a little world in it. I created a landscape, gave it bronze material because I love shiny metals, created some hills, a river, and then I started filling it with some jungle vegetation. In the end of the river I planted some white flowers, of course. Then I animated the camera movement, added some stones and further vegetation to make the transition more organic. 
Eventually, I changed the landscape material to dirt so it looks more realistic. Added more white flowers and vegetation. Animated the sun to go a little wild because I'm bored when the sun is still. I like the movements of shadows. And here is the final result. Thank <laughs> you.